posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Virgos, it's Purple Haze and I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark day. Here to give y'all a general reading. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video because it helps my channel grow when y'all do that. So hit the like button, subscribe, and then hit the notification bell too. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Virgos. Get some good vibes for y'all. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, benevolent ancestors, for all that you do. All that you will do. Every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Virgos. Okay, as soon as I said Virgos, there you go. So basically, ooh, you have the King of Wands here in reverse. Okay, you have the Justice card here in reverse. Ooh, and a Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so basically, so far. You feel like the situation that you are in is un someone treated you unfairly or they said something to you that was just plain unfair. It could be a work situation or something dealing with money, but you feel like it was some unfair shit going on. And it turns you off. Like, you didn't like the fact that it's unfair. It made you basically just redirect your attention or redirect the way you were doing things, okay? But let's dig deeper into what they're talking about. You have the five of wands here. You're like... You feel like this person underestimated you. So ain't nobody stopping you. Ain't nobody stopping the Virgo. You're going to keep it moving and keep it going and show them exactly what you are capable of. But yeah, it's a situation, like I said, it could be work-related or it could just be someone who you have a lot in common with financially. But again, it's some unfair. It's an unfair situation and you feel like this is not where it's at. Okay, what else is going on? Okay, so we have... The Emperor card here in reverse. Ooh, and we have the Seven of Swords here in reverse. Be careful, though. Someone younger than you or or someone with some immature-ass ways, you got to watch them because they could be plotting. Like, they want to take something from you. They could possibly steal from you. Um, Just basically do some underhanded, at least try to do some underhanded shit behind your back. Okay? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's too much going on. You obviously doing something right if you got somebody wanting to to take it from you like get your own you have the queen of cups in reverse and that was the last straw for you you have absolutely no love for them after that okay the world card because you feel like they lied they lied um if they hadn't have taken anything materialistically they still did something to you where that you felt like they took something from you or they took advantage of you and you feel like they lied about it or they're lying about it it's a bunch of broken promises it's a bunch of all of this extra that you're not here for what's the environment surrounding virgo okay you have the nine of wands you are still going to work just as hard twice as hard okay queen of pentacles in reverse and queen of wands in reverse because although you feel like sometimes you have to start over this time you feel like when you start over it's going to count you're not going to keep going backwards. You feel like you've learned from this particular situation or from what had happened. And it is what it is, okay? Let's um, get on the outcome. Ooh. The outcome of the situation. Did I say it already? But no, I didn't. I said the environment. So, the outcome of the situation, Um, you have the seven of pentacles, okay? So, again, like I said before, planting your seeds, starting over, and this time it's going to go right. Knight of Wands. Take your time with it because this is something that you're passionate about. You have the star card. You are doubting something. What are you doubting? Or is someone doubting you? Page of swords in reverse. There's someone doubting you. My fault. There's someone doubting you. And they are very like... Ugh. They attract bullshit. Plain and simple. Five of swords. You are done fighting. You are done trying to go back and forth with them because of that. And then you have the chariot card here in reverse. Um... Because you feel like when you deal with them, when you feed into their energy, you go back down that wrong path. And you're not doing that. You want to, you don't want to keep going down the wrong path, okay? So, let's move on to the energy oracle cards, okay? To, let's see. So, babe, this is like more of advice or like um, direct messages 
to you from the in, from the universe. Let's say the internet <laughs> from the universe. Okay, so you have anxiety. Why do you have anxiety? Magician in the mirror in reverse. Mm. Ugh. And you have happy family in reverse. You feel like you're so tired of fake stuff. You're so tired of people putting on a front or a mask. You're tired of it. Brings you. It's like it's it's to the point where now when you come across people or you meet people, you worry about them being fake. And some of that comes from family members. Some of that comes from people who you have a family with. Um, but yeah, that's that's plain and simple. That's how you feel. Angel of strength in reverse. It makes you feel like that's your vulnerable side. Your vulnerable side is you meeting somebody that you like or you being around company that you like. And you automatically be like, is this the real them? You don't want to share too much. You don't want to give too much because you don't know if this is the real them or not. Okay? Let's dig into these emotions, Virgo. While you be trying to hide them. Let's dig into your emotions and see how you are feeling emotionally. Okay? How are you feeling emotionally? Okay, so you have dreams. And you have inner child. Okay? Some of you may be having literally dreams about, like, nostalgic dreams. Dreams about your past probably keeps coming up. And it, it, it draws up emotions that stems from your past you have blessings but little do you know your past is the reason why you're going to acquire so many blessings your past issues or whatever you dealt with you kind of use that now or at least you should with your passion and it's going to bring you a lot of blessings okay and i feel like you know that because this is a part of what you feel so like you you can probably feel that or you tell yourself that you have heaven on earth and you have retreat so Instead of you giving so much power to other people, you're putting that power and energy within yourself. You're taking time for yourself. Um, you're spending quality time with yourself, or it could be someone in particular, like one or two people, that you're still in qu spending quality time with now instead of giving so much of your power to everyone else. Okay, Virgos. Okay, I like this particular one. I like it. I like it. Let's move on to um, you and your person, all signs. So we're going to start off with you, single Virgos, and then we'll work our way, you know, down or whatever time stamps is at the bottom. Okay, so single Virgos, past life relationships. So you have known each other before. A lot of you often deal with people from your past. It's a pattern. You probably can't stand it, but it's a pattern. Um,. You often deal with people from your past. It could be someone in your past come, trying to come back into your life to reconcile or for closure. It's up to you on whether or not you, you feel like you should do that. If you know this person triggers you or if you feel like this person... Hold on, y'all. Um, if you feel like this person triggers you or anything of that nature, do not give in. Like, wait. At least make sure that you're not at a vulnerable state. Okay, so... Virgo and Virgo, how do you two feel about one another? Those of you dealing with another Virgo. Finances and career. Free yourself. So basically, you're dealing with the Virgo where you feel like you need some time to free away. Like you need some free time to deal with financial issues. There's some financial issues going on with either the both of you or you. And you feel like you need to take back control of your life and your finances. Okay? Virgo and... Libra, how do you two feel about one another? Virgo, you're dealing with the Libra um, who could be dependent on you or they probably have bad habits. They could be very much addicted to you too or have addictions. Um, and then you have past life relationship. This is someone from the past that may have some um, bad habits or maybe they are your bad habits. Okay. Virgo and um, Scorpio, child. I forget. Virgo, you're dealing with a Scorpio that you might not be attracted to or have a chemistry with like that because you feel like they lie. They put on this mask. They're not They're not who they say they are. You feel like this person is just a walking question mark, okay? Mm. Um, Virgo and Sagittarius, okay? Virgo and Sagittarius, you have codependency. Some of you are still... Um, you have either your Sagittarius is a bad habit or there's like a strong attachment between you two that's like kind of borderline to like too attached, okay? And then you have new love. This could be a new person. This could be someone new. Maybe you guys move pretty fast. They could have oh, bad habits or you could um, have them. Virgo and Capricorn. 
Okay? How do you two feel about one another? Virgo, you are possibly dealing with a Capricorn who you feel like lies or they lied about something, but you're trying to remain positive in a situation. And trying to, okay, you're trying to give this person a chance. You feel like they either lied or they, they kept something from you, but you're thinking about giving them a, another chance, okay? Um, Virgo and Aquarius, how do you two feel about one another? Virgo, you have chemistry. You have chemistry with this particular Aquarius. Romantic feelings. Someone could be catching feelings for this particular Aquarius or they, they got feelings for you because they can't. It's the chemistry for them. Like, it's the chemistry. Okay? Virgo and Pisces. Soulmate flew out. Virgo, you could be dealing with a Pisces who you feel like could possibly be your soulmate. Heart to heart conversation. You guys are going to have a conversation about soulmates or you're going to be re you're ready to discuss how you feel about this person or they could be coming to you about how they actually feel okay um virgo and aries how do you two feel about one another virgo you're dealing with an aries who you have romantic feelings for or they have romantic feelings for you you have free yourself and let your friends help you okay it seems as if maybe maybe there are friends or either either friends or family who feel like you're way you're like too into this person Maybe you don't have a lot of free time and they're asking you for it, okay? Because you're like always with this person. Virgo and Taurus, how do you two feel about one another? Whoa. Virgo, you're dealing with a Taurus where you're thinking about separating for the, from there's some type of separation or distance between you two. Codependency because either this person is too attached or way too dependent on you. Chemistry and children. There's still a chemistry between you two or a magnetic pool. Um, but you may have children with this particular person as well, okay? Maybe that's why they become dependent on you or vice versa. Um, Virgo, that was Aries? No, that was Taurus. Virgo and Gemini, how do you two feel about one another? Virgo, you are dealing with a Gemini, um, who you feel like is your true love, or could be your true love. You have honeymoon and engagement. Some of you are probably just got engaged with one. But there's a love, there's a bliss of love here between you and this particular Gemini, y'all. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, what's, uh, Virgo and, I'm like, who? Virgo and Cancer. How do you two feel about one another? Virgo, you're dealing with a Cancer who you have a lot of chemistry with. Um, there could be a distance between you two, though, or a separation, and it has a lot to do with your career or finances. Like, may maybe you guys are working on yourselves, your finances right now, okay, to so probably bring each other closer. Virgo and Leo is the last one. Virgo and Leo, how do you two feel about one another? Virgo, you're dealing with a Leo that you're thinking about committing to. Um, finances and career and because of that you're working on saving or your financial issues you could be thinking about committing to or getting engaged to this particular leo okay but there's like a major commitment but before that finances have to be intact but that's what i have for you guys virgos make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video i will see y'all in the next one bye in a place of and pure and free